It's my focus to follow the tracks that What is going on? All I did is I saved and the game she started talking and says I got a new quest gauntlet challenge or something. I don't even know where that came from. Or why I got it. I guess maybe she saw it down there. I don't know. Let's continue. I don't care about the gauntlet challenge. I want to get down to this new town. And apparently, our friend, the Huntress from earlier in the game, apparently is over at this camp waiting for us. And maybe we can at least get the next leg of that quest unlocked. And then we're probably going to continue with the main story. But let's at least get it unlocked if we can. What a camera shift. It just dynamically shifted for her from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. Did you see that? That was interesting. Bristlebacks, I think, over there. Okay. That must be it. I have not been there yet. <clears throat> ah. Derek, I guess so. He says he was watching my CT bucket list with Bowtie Theaters, a local cinema. I guess, if it was in the video. I, I don't remember. I haven't been in movies in years and years and years, man. So wait, is this not it? It's not. It's a campfire, but... It's not actually... I thought this was the town. It's not. This is like a decrepit thing here. Thank you. Only fear of death. I hope your back feels better. Thank you. Appreciate that. I do too. I really needed to feel better. Okay. Save up. So gameplay-wise, we're roughly between 18 to 20 hours in the game at this point. And story-wise, I'd say we're about halfway through. But, of course, there's a lot of content in the game. I don't know if we'll be doing any more of it or not. We're almost there. It's like right through here. Right through this ridge. So maybe we'll cut over. Cut across. Medicinal herbs. Ooh, medicinal herbs. Are those the venom spewer dudes? It is, isn't it? Those really annoying venom pissers. Whatever they're called. The venom piss ven venom spitters. <laughs> Cam Parker says, what game releases are I high for over the next few months? Uh, outside of what's coming out this month, I actually don't know what's coming out for the next few months, to be honest. This month, it's WWE and probably Ghostwire Tokyo on most type for, although I think that Kirby might be really good too. Um, as a nice, like, different kind of variety chill stream. And that's about all I know. Yes, Mark, I, I do recommend this game. This is the kind of game for someone who wants to invest a lot of time in something and get a bang for your buck. And I think the story is great. Don't break my fall. Graphics are ridiculously good. Like I said, the negatives are nitpicking negatives. Like, oh, the side content isn't rewarding enough. Salt bite. Their cooks' meals give a soldier strength like nothing else. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe they could use your help too. So Catalo just gave us like a Maybe side a side out. quest. Thanks. Salt bite. Stormforce Gamer says an exploding spike spike or spear is a great weapon if you upgrade it. There's a side quest near the tall neck you took down to get another spear. It's great as a crest reward. Thank you for the recommendation. If I see one at the store, maybe I'll buy it. I don't think I'm going to be doing any side quests to get one, though. Just being honest. <laughs> that Osram camp Talon and I were trying to find should be around here. Smoke. Could be from the camp. Maybe I should check it out. Some kind of Osram camp? How'd they end up out here? Whoa, there's a lot of quests here. Oh, shit. There's like a ton of quests here. Camp Nowhere. Now oh, it's like samurai armor almost. All alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious, is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your <laughs> jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. 
the girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. Nah. I will. <laughs> Careful. Nah, she's on her own. And her body's about to be disconnected because I'm not going out there to help her. She figured this shit out for herself. Looks like we have company. Something nearby is sending a signal. Apparently there's a signal I need to follow. Oh, over there. Oh, there she is. She's just standing right there. Especially the southwest. One of our scouts ran into some nasty Tanakh down there. The kind that contain machines. He barely made it back alive. Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Sounds like the rebels are as friendly as ever. Here we are. This is what I was trying to do. Raggart. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that. <laughs> you have a lot of Asura knocking at your door. And you are? This is Raggart. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called the Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but But he's stupid. He was dead set on going. See? <laughs> oh, and my feelings tonight says looking forward to you playing Dead Space Remake later this year. The original was one of my first Let's Plays. It wasn't even a Let's Play. It was just highlights. I only uploaded a few videos of that game that I thought were some of the more scary parts of the game. Uh, that was before I was doing full Let's Plays slash playthroughs of any games back in the day. Ethan Johnson says, what's up? How are you enjoying the game? Looks dope. I'm liking the story. Graphics are good. Combat's good. Story's good. So, it's good. Okay. Stormforce Gamer says you already have the exploding spirits, the weapon you got made. Yeah, I sold it. I sold that shit. Because it sucked. So I don't have it anymore. Okay. Um Amonis Tunnel, you're a scout. How about just tell us Thanks, how to get Robert. there? This has been helpful. <laughs> Hope you find Enough them. blabbing. Okay. I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. <laughs> I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. Then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Yes, a huntress is ra randomly following a guy throughout the entire freaking West. Gee, I wonder why. I mean, it's pretty common sense, don't you think? Anyway, there's another save point, by the way. So, oh, okay, we're not doing this yet. Here's where that is. That's way to the west. That's a good thing to do on our way to, yeah, and our way to the, the west for Dem Demeter's stuff. So, yeah, that's a no-go for now. Um, but at least now we know. I'm glad that we unlocked that portion. Now we know where to go for it. And we already we already figured out that's too far. So forget this. We will be doing the main quest of the Sea of Sands next, which is relatively close by. We'll just hit up this fire, and then we'll probably head down there and uh, and see what we can find. Sounds like a plan, no? Lord Sheogarath, thank you. Have a good night. Derek, this is not a mask. This is actually an armor set. And the armor set changes Aloy's appearance. All the armor sets in the game do the same. Save up. Is my back feeling better? It's less painful, but it's still not perfect, so... We got a moron who just got banned. A complete moron. Suck it. Okay. Are you lost? Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior. My savior. Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delsman. Chief Delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine Delvers. What am I saving you from, exactly? <laughs> Death and despair. Doing work. Flame You're gonna friend. do everything for See, me. This grand expedition here has 
had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up. Shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body. One of your delvers, I guess, but... No sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the Delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the Delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? I say, nay. I'll see what I can do. About the tunnel. <laughs> My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One in the same. That it over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand carved by my dear old mom. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. I'm never gonna find it. I'm never doing Good that shit. Good luck, flame. All right. Well, we got the, all the quests unlocked. If I ever feel like doing them, I probably won't. Uh. Oh. Uh. Wait a minute. <laughs> no comment on that one. Just felt like jumping in place for a few seconds, doing some calisthenics, maybe some good warm-ups before she ran out into the desert, perhaps. All right. So here we are. For some odd reason, there's a component laying on the ground. I'll, I'll take it. All right. There's the tall neck we already did. We did it much earlier. We actually did it before the, the story mission. And we're just going to continue past this tall neck further into the desert and see what we find. Okay. All right, Derek. I'll see you on Tuesday for Pokemon. Sounds good, man. Have a good night. What am I seeing? I'm seeing what looks like a pagoda. And what looks like a castle. You see that, right? <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. A pagoda and a castle in the middle of the desert. What on earth? It's pretty cool. You see these tracks? So you tell that other people have traveled this way because you see the tracks of the dunes. That's neat. We're doing it. This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Oh. Ah. Like we We're in the ruins of Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. So I actually wonder if we're going to see anything that looks actually like things in real life Las Vegas here. Like, will there be a real strip? Will there actually be, like, for example, uh, some of the more notable casinos, the Luxor. The Luxor has both the Sphinx as well as the giant fake pyramid. There's actually the Circus Circus that looks like a big-ass circus, like a big circus tent. There's, um... Is it the MGM Grand? I forget which one has fake landmarks. Like, there's a fake Eiffel Tower and a fake Arc de Triomphe. Right? Ruins out here are exposed to the elements. But a lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. If that's true, I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Okay. So, find a way underground. Search for the ruins oh, underground. Cool, oh shit, look what we just ran into. Assholes. Oh shit, it looks like it used to be a big Ferris wheel. It's wrecked, see that? Yeah, there's some crazy shit going on here. Actually, there's a bonfire over here. I'd rather get to the bonfire first. So I have fast travel unlocked. And then I'll worry about trying to get to underground. So it's up here. Yeah, Mark, how's the Kirby demo? I heard the Kirby demo just came out and I haven't, you know, obviously I'm interested in it. Here it is. 
But I'm not gonna play it. I'm curious how other people are playing it and think Kirby's any good. So, okay, we got the fast travel unlocked. We're oh wow, this is a huge area. Jeez. A huge area to explore and look for a way underground. Hopefully we'll find it. Maybe it would be right near the bonfire, you think? Like maybe in this building? That would make sense, but maybe that makes too much sense. It's not as easy. Oh, we can open this now. We have the ability to open these walls. Walk right into it. Okay, she wasn't immune. I thought maybe she would be. Oh, what the fuck? Why is there an enemy in there? Why the hell was there an enemy in here? <laughs> that was quite rude, actually. A data point. Complaint log. Usually not the type of complaint the laundry bot tore my dress. It's a complaint from a fucking Las Vegas fucking visitor? Why the fuck would I want that? Alright, maybe this will be something good. Okay, maybe it is. Oh yeah, Apex Snap Mall Heart. Apex Canister. Alright, that stuff might be good. Alright, at least <laughs> at least I got something for opening the wall. Like, Why is there an enemy in my face? Hmm. Give it a better view from up here. Some components in the other room, but don't really care. There's a sink. <laughs> this is an old hotel. Yeah, this is one of the hotels in Vegas. It's all destroyed. Oh shit, I fucked up. Oh well, hope there's nothing up there. What's up, TJ Behemoth? How you doing, man? Damn it, I think I went too far. Yeah, I, I think we're outside of the realm of, uh... Of where we could possibly get underground. This is weird. It looks like there's, like, glass or a dome. See this? But what's it? Oh, what's it covering? Because obviously the buildings are exposed. Oh shit! Look at this—a big ass castle. That's kind of cool. A drone must be part of. A drone. Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect Where? it with the dome back at the base. Where does she see a drone? I don't see a drone. Get up there. Oh no! I don't see any drone. I don't know what she's talking about. Weird. No clue. Anyway. Oh, there it is. Oh, Jesus. I gotta go way high up to jump on that thing, huh? Is there a way to climb this building? There's a lot to do here, I guess. Haseo, no. I haven't gotten any new overrides because I think all the overrides are present inside of the cauldrons. I've only seen one optional cauldron on the map. I didn't bother with it. Uh, no. I don't have any overrides or anything. Nope. Some valuables, but that's about it. To jump onto that drone to get it down. Oh, so they want me to actually do it, huh? How would I jump on the drone? Ah, uh, here we go. Wait a minute. Component box right here. Okay. Maybe that's how you do it. Oh shit! I guess not. I guess we're going this way. Jade, thank you for chilling with me all day. If you, if you go to bed, it's all good, man. But thanks for joining me as much as you could. I got it. Cool. First one I got. I don't know what this does. Reconnect it with the dome back at the base. Yeah, I don't know what this does, but uh, I guess we can put it in the base and it'll get all its data, its visual data. That's it. Oh, shit! What is that? That's a big tower thing. Damn, see, this is cool, but man, I wish I knew where to go to, to advance the story. Maybe I gotta go right there? Maybe that's where I'm going, right there. <clears throat> that's cool. It looks at like the top of a big building or something, but it's submerged in sand. I guess I should head towards the actual waypoint, but then again, I don't know if that's a guarantee that that's where I need to go. Thank you, Lord Shugaroth, for a super chat. I thought you said you were taking off. 
You said earlier you were taking off for the night, yet you're still here. Thank you for the super chat. Again, guys, if you are trying to help out the stream, the best way you could help is via tipping. I really need help with tips right now. But I appreciate all contributions. And even a few more likes would help. Remember our goal? Oh, shit. Pouring out of that building. Poseidon's doing? I better check it out. A pagoda in the middle of the desert. Definitely a casino of some sort, I bet. Is there a pagoda casino in real Las Vegas? I don't know. Perhaps there is, and I'm just not aware of it. Since I discovered a campfire, I did. Oh, I did. I already had one. Oh, there's another one. Here we go. The Tower of Tears. Save up here. Haseo says, this tower is one of the hotels I'm hoping to see. So it's a real hotel in Vegas, the Pagoda. What's it called? I wonder. But anyway, thank you guys. Uh, yeah, a few more likes would be appreciated. We're trying to hit 100 likes on every stream this year. And we're very close right now. Camping here. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. What could it possibly be behind the tarp? Let's find out! Oh. I had to press the button. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I was out of oh, I was so close. Oh, to drown. What the hell is this? Maybe. Not not to the embers. M Morlin. It's over. Well, not for me, it's not. And you're going to die alone. <clears throat> Who is this guy? not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <laughs> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. How could a city Suddenly be flooded a under a desert? Spear yeah, okay. Um, well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. <laughs> Jaws all drop. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, mm. I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? <laughs> Get over here. What is happening here? She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Morland. Not a stranger anymore. <laughs> You're a devil. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? <laughs> Freaking out. Yeah, why are you here? What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Morland, <laughs> I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or maid? I'd say get to the point. <laughs> no nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Oh, now, yes, but, 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 with the proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air. And the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. So this like is fireworks? Promise me. Huh. 
Yeah, it sounds like futuristic fireworks or something, right? Hmm. <clears throat> How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true Delver. Hmm. And a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. All right. So, I'll just say what happened down there. I don't really care about our friends. Uh, just what happened here. So, he... what exactly happened down there? Right. It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Graham's footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy that... Right. Again. <laughs> what happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Oh. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women. Games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. Like a strange underwater dream. Hmm. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. Okay. Why don't they just keep going? Why didn't they keep picking again? Just so tell me the whole story. Up from the floor and filled the place up. It was a raging flood, unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us, shaken. And that stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Now that Dunn's beside himself, he thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far, and the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. Okay. I have something very briefly to say. I've had, I've noticed that quite a few people seem to be showing up to streams recently talking about tips, talking about stuff raised on a stream, even when I'm not. It's none of your business. And it, the other funny thing is I'm noticing that quite a lot of people who are doing this don't actually contribute. So, it's none of your business to talk about it. If I want to mention, hey guys, we've got a half an hour left on the stream, please, you know, support if you can. We got seven likes to hit 100, and that's the goal for the for the year on every stream. Uh, it'll be great to get a few more tips, and at least, very least, get the Gunner Glasses goal of $50. That's my job, not yours. It's not your job to sit here and just talk about it all stream, because then it pisses people off who are here to just relax. So shut up about it, because if I see it, I'm just going to start timing people out, because I'm not going to put up with people trying to make my whole stream about that when it's not. There you go. Okay, Harvick has to be ten dollars. So this game actually lives up to the hype, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Thank you, Harvick. Personally, I do feel this game has lived up to my expectations for it. I feel like it is better than the first game. Um, I just wish more people would give it a chance. Funny enough, I'm not exaggerating. We have more people on tonight's late stream for this game than when I played it as a daytime stream earlier this week. Go figure. So it's working as a night stream. So, thank you, Harvick, for the tip. I really appreciate that. Okay. Uh, all right, let's just do this. I better get after those parts. There's a fully mm. intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. 
If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. Ah! I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Oh, Jade, you've been to Vegas twice? That's cool. Jade, maybe you'll recognize some of this stuff then. Because I've never been to the Strip. I stupidly went to Vegas multiple times and never went to the Strip. But maybe you'll recognize some of this stuff. I just want to buy some stuff if I can. I want to gab with this guy. Guest list of 50. <laughs> so, we need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no. For him, scrappers up. Are you guys nuts? Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. Uh, I was this close. <sighs> we were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. <laughs> I've heard that before. Now, I want to trade, I'm asshole. Always willing to engage in <laughs> That's what I talk to you for. You're a vendor. Uh, oh. Adhesive Warrior's Bow. That's new. Adhesive type? So, it has adhesive payloads. They slow down enemies. I haven't even seen this before. An adhesive type. I haven't seen this as a weakness. I wonder if this is a weakness of certain enemies or if this is just a general effect to slow down enemies. I don't know. Um... I think it might... Yeah, see? It actually doesn't deal damage. The other uh, elemental effects deal a base damage plus a buildup. This is just a buildup. A sticky buildup. Ew. Uh, the Ice Storm Bolt Blaster. So this one does ice. Oh, it does the plasma. And it does lightning. I think I need to buy this. You want to know why? I don't have any plasma at all. The one I have just does lightning. This is a triple element. So I think I'm going to buy this. Yeah, and I'm going to equip it. It's going to take over for the Shock Bolt Blaster. Cool. <clears throat> Asarum Striker. Energized Duration, Resonator Blast, Resonator Buildup. Nah, that's just melee weapon shit. All right, goodbye. I'm going to see what I can upgrade on this thing. Do us a favor. <clears throat> Leave us all alone. But thanks for the money. <laughs> Dickhead. So first of all, oh, yeah, plasma damage. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they're weak to plasma. Hitting them with plasma buildup in a plasma state creates a timed detonation. I see. Now can I upgrade this thing? Yes. And that's it. I need clamber jaw tail duster. What the fuck is a clamber jaw? I've been playing the game for 20 hours. What is a clamber jaw? I guess I'm not upgrading it. All right, at least I got one. And I could put a, uh, a rune in this thing, I think. If that's what it's even called. What is it called in this game? <laughs> Every game is the same exact thing, but it's called something different. Oh, it's a coil. Uh, oh. Ooh, shock... 15% shock increase. Alright. I think we'll do that. Oh, man. Actually, critical hit chance is good. I might do that. Critical hit chance. Yeah, you want to know why that's going to work? I just unlocked the ability that is the charged ability. That's a super-powered, concentrated shot. It's 10... <clears throat> um, 10, 10 uh, ammo, but it's a super powered shot. That it's, if it is an increased critical hit chance, that's really good. So that's that's the best thing for it right now. Low Carb Madman says, Man, I don't know how you can remember all this stuff between Elden Ring and Skyrim. I only do one game at a time. Sometimes I don't play for a short amount of time. I come back totally lost. Yeah, I mean, they're all, it's all the same shit. The runes, the coils, this, that, and all around. It's all the same nonsense. It really is. All right, I need to go get to a herd. See that? We'll see. Go to the machine herd. Let's soldiers, do the machine herd just, first. Because that way, once I get the piece of the... the, the uh, I think she, what they're talking about is she, they're going to make her a rebreather, right? So she can, like, go underwater. So let's go to this herd. Let's get the piece we need, or whatever the pieces we need. We'll do that first. Then we'll come back. And uh, we'll do the get the, the broken... 
rebreather device that he has under there, right? And uh, we'll do it all in one go, one fell swoop. Gamer guy, just did a super chat saying we reached the tips goal. No, we did not. These super chats are completely separate from tips. Says a clamber jaw is an ape-like machine. Oh, I have not even seen an ape-like machine in the game yet. Perhaps further in. Um. Remember, we did go to like a a, a, a four rainforest type deal, but we didn't really do anything there. Maybe I just completely missed out, missed them all. I don't know. Thank you, gamer guy, for the super chat, but that does not count towards tips. It's not a tip. It's a completely different uh, contribution method. Sorry. Okay. All right. Here's a machine herd coming up. What kind of machines are we getting? Well, this is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. You dunce. They're not here. Their trail. Better look for tracks. Over there. I see something over there. My controller's starting to malfunction, which is not good. So last year when I was playing PS5 a lot, this controller in particular was starting to look like turn. I was getting thumbstick drift. And it stopped, and now it's starting again. And I don't know why. It's pissing me off. Oh. Oh, I'll grab this. So that's what I was seeing. I wasn't seeing the tracks. I was seeing those items. Um... What's that? Could that be it? Aha! Uh -huh. I think that's it. No, that's a grapple point. Where the hell are the tracks? There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. Highlight tracks. Got it. Which way did they go? This way? This way. Okay. Here we go. Eternal says, do you think people constantly mention things like like tips and income to annoy you? Yes. Yes. Like I said, it's none of anyone's business to mention it but me. Here, here's what you guys can help with. If you want to say, hey guys, like the stream, that helps Phil. Cool. That's something for free that people can do. It's something that likely you've already done, right? That's fine. But to see her on the stream and be hypocritical and be like, people should be tipping to support and then you're not tipping. Here, here, let me put it this way. Before you say once, oh, you should tip or do a super chat, do it first. You do it first, then you have the right to possibly bring it up on the stream. But to see people be completely hypocritical and expect other people to support when you're not doing it, that's ridiculous. I need a compressed air capsule. Who has it? I need to know who has it. I don't have a purge water arrow, I don't think, right? I don't have any I don't think I have anything purge water. No. So that's no good. Nope. Where is the, the the enemy that has what I'm looking for? A glint hawk? Key upgrade resource? Is this the one I need? The glint hawk? Has a chill water sack? I wish it would tell me what I uh what I need to get so I know who to fight. Not really helping me. Fire and electricity. Look what it just happened. It just moved itself. That's not me. Oh, it's doing it again. Up a sand spiral. Great. Stupid controller needs to stop doing this before I destroy it. I'm getting upset. Fire and electricity. This sucks. I can't see anything. <laughs> it's dark as shit. I can't see a thing. I don't know what enemies I'm supposed to be killing to get my components. What is this shit? This is terrible right now. How am I supposed to know what, I'm th what to do? Follow the tracks. Where? There's no tracks. What are you even talking about? There's no tracks here. What the fuck are they talking about? I'm so confused. Just tell me which enemy to kill so I can get the item. Is it this guy? I don't know who I'm supposed to be killing to get the item we need. I'm going to try to kill the Glint Hawk.
I killed it. Oh shit, insta kill. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. Okay, then what do I need to kill? I thought that was it. Okay. What happened? I did silent strike, didn't work. Sure. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, I got it. Now where did the herd go? Oh, no, they actually want me to continue searching. By the way, again, look, I'm not touching the thumbstick. This fucking controller's starting to malfunction. Not good. So I had to kill them, and now I can follow. Okay. By the way, thank you guys. I got some contributions that came in. Gamer guy to me three dollars ninety four cents. Says, "What about now?" Well, thank you, gamer guy, for the tip. I appreciate that. That gets us up to forty eight dollars in tips, and then an anonymous ten dollar tipper just tipped ten bucks. That gets us up to fifty eight dollars in tips, which means we did hit the Gunner Glasses goal for the night. I do appreciate that, guys. Not much time left. About roughly 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes left, because I'd like to get further in this quest before I stop streaming tonight. So I may go just a little bit extra. But we could possibly hit that $100 goal, and you get to quickly vote for a hat for me to wear tonight for the rest of the stream. But thank you for your support. By the way, we hit the 100 likes as well. So I appreciate that, guys. Kagome, why on earth are you afraid to talk in chat? When have you ever been, been in a situation where there's a reason you'd be afraid to talk in chat? Seriously. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's continue. So I'm not touching the thumbstick. Please stop fucking moving. Seriously. I need this controller to work. This thumbstick drift is no good. I might have to switch to the other controller if it keeps doing this. Especially with Elden Ring tomorrow. Oh, God. All right, where is this goddamn herd that I'm tracking? They want me to kill them all. There's a bellow back. The bellow back is weak to frost. No, fire. I'm gonna try to kill all these guys quickly with assassinations, and then I'll take on the bellow back because I'm pretty sure I cannot assassinate the bellow back. So first, I should take the guy, the guy that's furthest out here, right here. This is one of the hopper things. It's a lasher. It has that lashing. It's a it's a kangaroo with a, a big whip, a lashing whip. Gotcha. No. Okay, one down. That worked. I really need to lure these things. Ugh. There's one going. <sighs> Damn it. Lightning. Okay. That fucking worked. Two more to go. Okay, they don't know where I am. This is excellent. Dude, the camera, the fucking controller keeps rotating. It's a piece of shit. They don't know where I am.
uses fire and I accidentally do the wrong thing. He's on fire! I can't see. I just crafted the fucking arrows. What are you talking about? I dodged the guy hit. Shield time. Fuck this. How did that miss? There's a giant monster in front of me. I can't hit it. I missed again. What the fuck is this? Why do I have a melee combo that whiffs a giant enemy standing in front of you? I can't even craft anymore. Yeah, I'm boned. I can't craft anymore. I guess I'm just gonna hit him with electricity. Now I'm hit. Can't see what's going on. I can't see anything at all. Look, I really can't. What's going on? I don't even know what's happening. I can't see. I should lie low. Find whoever's in charge and take it. I can't fire. I'm trying to reload. It won't do it. he died. I have no ammo in anything, but he died. What a pain in the ass. One synthetic membrane. Better check the machines. Oh, they might have a kneecap I can use. I'm looking for a kneecap. Literally, we'll just stand there. It won't work. Fuck this shit. He's like stuck. He is. He's like glitched. He won't move at all. Killed it. Got him. One of them should have a new cap. He didn't have it. Uh, who had it? Over here, maybe? This guy? He had it. Good. Okay. What a mess. Takes care of the machine parts. Just gotta grab the compressed air capsule from Merlin's diving bubble. I can't make. Oh, I could make a little bit of acid arrows, just a little bit. Gotta make regular arrows on the way back. I can't make any more fire arrows. I ran out. But I can make these. And I can make some of these. Okay. Okay, I made as much as I can make now. Let's go. You know, they really couldn't have made it any more blurry and messed up out here while I was doing this mission. Seriously. I can't see a damn thing. Okay. This thing glows nicely at night. Look at this. Huh. 
So now we gotta dive to get this missing capsule thing. Is it air capsule or whatever? <clears throat> and after that, maybe we'll get the rebreather. If you remember earlier in the game, we found a cave where we could not uh, breathe enough. I think that's what the rebreather was for. Okay, Dune Hollow. Here it is. Got it. Why is the camera in her, in her butt? <laughs> we were finally going to get away from this place. Okay. Well, I should have all the parts that to bury it up. We'll get back to Moreland. The longer there. What can I do for you, partner? Uh, here we go. Got the parts. Got everything I need to build About the. About time. Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Wait, I have to make it? What the? To do everything. <laughs> here it is. Special gear. So so far we have the igniter, which blows up that the the burning plant stuff in the walls. The pull caster, which pulls down walls. We're now going to get the diving mask, which is a rebreather that lets you go underwater. I have no clue what that one will be. Maybe this will be the last one that, remember there was the uh, the tall neck earlier on in the game that said there was no way to do it? Maybe maybe it's at the very end of the game you get something to do that. Okay. Whoa. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? There's a very special salvage I want down there. Assuming I don't drown. <clears throat> so what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. The lost city of Singe! Something Sing. caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed turn to sea life there was this flash of red good evening dc good to see you roar of water surging in he's got a horizon 2 environmental haiku he says the beautiful land the invigorating sights of horizon 2 thank you Wait, dc a flash of red a, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through it was like a beacon Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. All right. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. Let's go for a swim. Well, there's no more wa uh, no more breathable bar. Yeah. Cool. And apparently she has a glowing lamp that she can use now. She didn't have that before. Oh, the mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Damn. Look at this look at the neon graphics. It's cool. An audio log? Yeah. Stanley Chen, it started right here 30 years ago, back when the casino was still called The Tempo. One big bet turned my fate around, but now fate's dealt its cruelest hand ever. I have to turn the lights out one final time. The waters of my adopted home, will, uh, uh, one last will run dry. Okay, don't know what that means, but I guess we're inside the casino. Look, this looks like the remnants of casino machines, right? Slot machines, yeah, that's exactly what this is. 2060, 20 years ago this week, Stanley Chen broke ground one of the most ambitious construction projects in American history. A Chinese political influence was against it. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. So it is. It's a, a, a Chinese-themed casino, and everyone said, Oh, cultural appropriation. They yelled at him. The woke mob came after him. 
And he eventually had to shut down because, uh, you know, the world ended. I guess that's one good reason to end the, uh, your casino. Oh, I'm not doing that. Look. Fucking piece of fucking shit. Work, you piece of dog shit. Don't fucking break on me now. Work. God damn it. Yeah, look, so there's a big dragon. Oh, cool, a big golden dragon. That's sweet. Cool. Can I swim out of here? Because it says we need to go up. Maybe I just need to swim straight up. No. Yeah, uh, Tempo doesn't exist, Jade. As you heard, the guy said that he opened it in 2035. So it's supposed to be in the future this casino was open. So here I am, but where am I supposed to go exactly? This all looks like a dead end. Maybe I need to go down to go up. Maybe it's one of those deals where you gotta go all the way down and then you can go up. Yep. I was right. Look, the golden... Pagoda. Golden Pagoda. And look, they had one of those cars. They do this all the time with casinos. They have a car in the middle of the floor, and they say, oh, you could win this. If you win this certain slot machine, you can win the car. Harvick says his stick is always having, also having the same problem in this game. It sadly is not the game. It didn't, my, this controller was, oh, fucking shit. The thing is huge. Anyway. Yeah. An underwater dome in the middle of the fucking desert. Figure that one out. Anyway, um, he's coming straight for me. I'm trying to stay away from it, and he's like coming for me. Oh. I'm trying to beat the current, but man, it's hard. Here we go. I'm assuming where the current's coming from is where I need to go. No. They won't let me. So where do they want me to go then? Uh. I can't go against the current, and I can't go that way because the guy will eat me. So where do you want me to go? Yeah, my, my issue started way before this game. My my issue started uh, with other games last year. First half of last year. I don't know where they want me to go. I can't even... Look, I can't even make any progress. I can't move. <laughs> uh, could you tell me where to go, please? The door on the other side that I can't go. How do I do with the machine? Moreland said what? Find the red light. Oh my god, find the red light. Down here maybe? No, that's just a chest. Ugh. Moreland, you don't have to put out the red light. Moreland, put out the red light. <laughs> Moreland, you should have put out the red light, you fucker. Is this it right here? This stupid thing? No, I can't even get to this. Look. Look for the red... Oh, yeah, it's so easy to look for the red light. Maybe back here? You don't have to put on the red light. More land. All right. Alert. Critical flooding detected. Automatic drainage 
approach controls offline. Delightful. Execute an emergency purge. Manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump main uh. station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. South. This way? No. Wrong. Wrong. No machines down here. Ah, okay. Graphics are quite good here. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. Did it seriously just say stealth kelp? Use the stealth kelp to your advantage. Of course. How do I get up there? There's no. Uh. Uh. There's nothing to grab at all. That's where I came in. Grabs here. Aha! A ladder! Okay, DC has another haiku for us. The cooling breezy winds of Horizon 2 are very breathtaking. Yes, they are. The graphics are, are one of the best things about the game, for sure. More medicinal things. Alright. So here's the first of probably 17 valves we have to turn. I'm sure. There. One node down. Let us swim back up and find the access point for the second node. random valuables. Alright, so... One down. Right. Oh, uh, where do they want me to go now? Back this way? They want me to go back. Okay. I almost swam right into it. This is gonna look really cool when it's drained and we get to see what it actually looks like, you know, like the like Vegas, like the strip of Vegas. Alright now it's very hard to make anything else up underwater and neon and stuff. Get me to the second node. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Further down. Guard dar guard the door is yelling and saying acknowledge me. Okay, I acknowledge you. TZ said the water effects look look like real water, yeah. Absolutely. Here we go. I'm 
many of these nodes are there exactly? Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No, no one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains, blah, 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 blah. He's sad because this is, you know, his underwater Vegas. And basically it's gone. It's going to be wrecked because uh, the world's in. Yeah, that sucks. How do I get across here? Like that. <clears throat> okay. Guarded doors says, can I answer the questions you've been asking? What questions oh, have you been shit. asking? Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Debris? Oh. Okay. A superfluous puzzle. That's not much of a puzzle at all. Let's see if that helped. Taking care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. So we go back to where we were before, and then we should be able to drain the water. Sounds good. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. Oh, we'll go get alerted somewhere else and fuck off. There's red light in that tower. Just look at the console I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station. But how to get in? Exactly. Well, apparently not from the top. Maybe from the back. Uh huh. There might be a way in. Okay, let's see where this leads. Nice, a green shine cluster. Cool. Open the door. Comments on the Pokemon videos, but I don't respond to them. Am I going to drop it without considering post game? I'm going to play. I'm going to be whatever the main story is. I'm going to see what the post game is, but I don't know if it's any good or not. I'm not committing to doing it. Mark, you like the Kirby demo, huh? Apparently, Mark McCauley liked the Kirby demo. I get the feeling we're almost to draining, and probably when we drain, there's a save point, and we'll be all good, right? You should probably autosave after you drain the water. Call it quits for tonight. We're playing it again tomorrow night. So I guess tomorrow night we'll get to experiment in the drained Vegas and see what happens. That looks promising. There should be a console in here. Somewhere up, okay. Going up. Oh, really? Jim did a haiku? I missed it. I missed Jim's haiku. I was busy swimming. There. How do I draw this place out? There we go. Jade loves the game. Glad to hear that, Jade. Like I said, these story missions are quite good. They really are. Most of them are pretty good. It's interesting. Why am I lost Vegas in the apocalypse? Water down. Under the desert. All places. Good stuff. That did it. <laughs> okay. I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can...
can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. This is now called Dune Sick. Hollow. Oh, look at that. So remember we saw the top? Look what it is. That's the Eiffel Tower. Remember I said in Vegas there's fake representations of real life like um, our monuments? Like that's an Eiffel Tower. It's fake. It's much smaller than the real one. But there it is. And that's what we saw coming out of the top of the dome was the top half of the Eiffel Tower. See that? <clears throat> Maybe there's more. I wonder if there's more that represent real life things. All right. Well, we'll find out during the next session because ladies and gentlemen Jim the frog has a, a haiku he says swim underwater exploring the great unknown I hope you don't drown thank you Jim alright that is it for tonight's Horizon Forbidden West stream good progress right we did we got to have some pretty good progress here in underwater Las Vegas I had a good time I hope you guys did too and when we resume tomorrow night we will go into the now dried out Las Vegas probably fight those enemies that were down there because now they're probably on land walking around right and uh, see if we can find poseidon because that's what we came here for to begin with was to find the poseidon ai which we definitely have not done yet um we don't even know where it is in here we just had to do all this first before we could even get a chance to look down here for anything of use so good stuff guys i want to say thank you to everyone who chilled by the way as i said to you guys the attendance and the engagement on this stream is better than it was when this was the daytime stream so if anything this is showing Horizon is working better as a night stream, and it should stay as a night stream, okay? So thank you to those who chilled. Thank you to those who supported, of course. At least we did hit the tier one tips goal. That's certainly better than nothing. And thanks to those who liked the stream. We hit our likes goal for tonight. Everything, you know, pretty chill. Pretty chill fun, right? All right, everyone. So thank you very much. And uh, I really appreciate a nice chill stream tonight until tomorrow when we, when we pick back up. And by the way... Quick reminder for those who are still watching this on YouTube, I know that you're still there, although there aren't very many uh, people. Please remember, like the videos, leave comments, let me know what you think. Until tomorrow, I think this is pretty damn neat right now. Awesome.